going to teach you today how to make moon rocks. So if you're bored at home and you want a really fun science investigation to try in your kitchen, this is a really good one. I would suggest you do it with a grown up though, because what we're going to be working with gets very, very hot. So all you need is caster sugar, 200 grams, five tablespoons full of golden syrup, and two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. Now, if you melt the syrup and the sugar together in a saucepan on a low heat, and then once it's all melted, keep stirring it so it doesn't burn, turn the heat up a little bit until it goes all bubbly. So if you want to bring the camera over, we can see what will begin to happen here. So as you can see, it's beginning to go all bubbly and you want it to go a nice tawny brown colour and be quite liquidy. And as soon as it is like that, you're going to take it off the heat and add the bicarbonate of soda and you will see what happens. Stir the bicarbonate soda in. And look at that chemical change going on there. Pour it on to a tray lined with baking paper. And leave it to go hard. That will take about an hour. And what you should end up with is some lovely, crunchy moon rock to eat. It's delicious. That's a really good example of an irreversible change. So a chemical reaction takes place with the baking soda and the liquid sugar. And we end up with our delicious moon rock. And we can't get the baking soda and the sugar back again. So we're just going to have to eat it. Have fun!